Welcome back to the Morning Blend. A recent survey asked Americans about their financial future. About one third fear they won't be able to retire or that they'll have to delay retirement. <laughs> Sorry, another finding <laughs> was that half of families have no retirement savings accounts at all. Matthew Holbrook is back from Country Financial, and he's here to help us get ready for the future. Good to see you, Matthew. Yep, good to see you guys. Morning. Morning. I think that's going to shock people to hear one third of Americans feel that way. So, yeah. I mean, let's talk about what have you found from, from this sort of research, and how mm -hmm. does it affect what you do? Yeah, and I mean, for clients when they come out, it's, it's scary. I mean, it's a concept. They don't really know what's going on with it. In Country Financial, we actually have an index where uh, we put that out every month we get published to the USA Today. Um, but the whole retirement concept in general, it's just, it's scary. People don't know what to do. They don't know where to put money. That's where I come in and try to help them. So why aren't we saving for it? If we're, if we're scared of it, if we know it's a risk, why mm -hmm. aren't we doing the things to, to mitigate that? Because it's just too scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you look we at freeze, things, right? yeah, you, you freeze up and you think, okay, so uh, what do I have, where I want to put money, I'd like to do those things, but what if, say, uh, my water heater goes out and I need 10,000 bucks on that? Yeah. There's just a lot of other things. I think we have a list if we can put that up on there, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, we'll get to that. You can. You bet. No. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> now you're directing. Now I'm trying yeah. to direct. Yeah, yeah. We'll, so we'll put that up later on yeah. there. But there's we'll just, get to that if we can. There, there's a lot of other things that people have, so it's just we need to pay for things right there, and it's it, retirement kind of gets put on the back burner. Yeah, because that list, you're right, does sort of freak us out. Yep. Um, and here's the thing is that you say that the, the, despite the pessimism over millennials retirement prospects, only 40% say they include retirement in their long term financial goals. Mm -hmm. I personally, I, it seemed like when I was young and first mm -hmm. started working, there was people were always talking about get your retirement started, yeah. put as much as you can in yep. there. I'm surprised how many um, young people today mm -hmm. who are working aren't mm -hmm. saving aggressively for retirement. Yeah, and it's and again, when we come back to it, a lot of people think of, okay, it's a concept, but when I sit down with the client and we're talking about those retirement issues, I say, what are the four things you want to spend money on? It's okay, vacations, travel, and then there's just a blank. Yeah. They don't know what to, they want to do. So even when you think of uh, for You're millennials, for themselves, right? yeah, for They're themselves, not, yeah. Because otherwise they'd say kids, college, and you know, things like yep. that. But for themselves, they can't come up with. Yeah, they can't come up mm -hmm. with anything. So it's like when you're asking somebody that's a millennial, mm -hmm. it's they don't know what they want to do. They don't know how much money they need. It's just a lot of what ifs and what do I do. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so despite that pessimism that yep. you know millennials have, um, only 40% say that they include retirement in their long-term financial goals. Yep. So that doesn't make sense because then it says of that same group, 42% of them reported um, that they're concerned that they'll either have to delay or will never be able yeah. to retire. So how do we help millennials? How do we yeah, do that? Yeah, and it's what, what I always tell people. It's uh, eat the frog. A lot of people know yeah, that. The so book. The, the the biggest thing that you have, it's just. Tackle that in the morning. So say you're you're part of that 42%. Yeah. Call somebody like me. Call somebody anywhere here in Milwaukee or wherever you may be, and just take that first step. Once you take that first step or eat the frog, mm -hmm. that makes things a lot easier because then you can have those conversations with somebody like me, and we can kind of put it out there and we can give you a path. That knowledge mm -hmm. is power. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah. When you work with people, what do you find are the biggest concerns? The biggest concerns, and, and I'll. I'll Put it more for say like 40 and older i would say outliving their money so longevity risk is what we call it in the business mm. so okay say we plan to and we talked to a lot of guys they're like oh i'm out of here at 75 80 years old <laughs> and then and, oops they live yeah, too long oops i live too long <laughs> yeah. and that's good you live a long life but uh, medicines are getting better uh, doctors are getting better things like that so if you're living to be age 95 which a lot of people are these days you're running out of money so much earlier. So when I work with a person, let's plan to live to at least 90 years old and then make a plan from there. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. So y lastly, you say just by taking these simple steps, yep. you know, it's gonna be a lot easier at any stage in your life. So you can get started at any time, yep. but what you can do is start by doing a simple self-assessment and you actually do this self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. And there are questions like, how long will I live before I retire, which yep. you talked about. What's my desired standard of living? Yep. Do a lot of people say to you, you know, I'm gonna wanna live in this house or do they say I might be fine in a retirement community <laughs> I mean are they even thinking yeah. that way uh, well a lot of people when I talk to them they think well I'm not going to spend as much money later in life but when I say okay well you're not working so every day is Saturday yeah what are you going to do just sit there like a bump on a log and what if you have different <laughs> health needs exactly. you know or, so there, or medicine costs there's so many things that can happen and it's I mean it's when every day is Saturday it's easy just to throw that money and 
get rid of it. You say to even ask about your employer's 401k matching yep. program. A lot of people yeah. are leaving money on the table in that instance. Yeah, and for us, we work with that with the clients. So if somebody has a 401k, I'll go in there, kind of take a look at the funds that they have. I'll work with my experts down at home office, and we can put together a plan on where you should be invested within that 401k. If you go up to the match point oh, over that, if we should do other accounts, things on the side, those are all things that we can work with, but I mean, eat the frog, just take that first step. Yeah, I like that. And you know what, don't be embarrassed. If you haven't started yet, it's never too late, mm -hmm. no matter how old you are, and today is better than uh, next week. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they should meet with you, get their questions asked, start doing what they can to exactly. put themselves in a more safe and secure position. Yep, and it's I know a lot of people have brewers on the brain. I have my playoff beer. Yeah, let's see your here. socks. Yeah, yeah nice socks. socks. Hold going. your foot all the way up. There, there you go. go. Look at these <laughs> socks. <laughs> There's some dedication, bud. I like so it. So after the games, maybe take my number down. I understand if you guys are too excited. So call me after. Call yeah. Monday. Call on Monday. I'm okay with that. He'll be, be at the game yeah, tonight I'll be at the too. games anyways. You can meet him tailgating in the park and be like, <laughs> yeah, hey, you you're the guy I need to talk to about <laughs> my finances. Questions for you. I want to retire eventually. <laughs> it's Matthew Holbrook. He'll buy you a beer. Yeah, He's well, getting... first five people I'll buy a beer. <laughs> North Oakland Avenue in Shorewood. Call him at 414-332-2137. <laughs> Set up an appointment. You can also email him, um, which is a lot easier to do sometimes than making that first call. Oh, it's Matthew.Holbrook at countryfinancial.com. You heard it here first. First five people that say something about seeing him. He'll buy you a five. beer. Five. <laughs> he's going to see you and he's going to be like, sorry, you're number six. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's great. Thank, Thank you, you Matthew. Go, Thank you. Go Brewers.